He's a good boy. He's a Good morning. Good morning. It is Wednesday, I think. Or Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yes. It's Thursday. Say hello. My mother is in town from Italy, so she's gonna come over. We're gonna make a little frittata and yeah, just spend the morning hours together. Um, we have to work a little bit later. So we're gonna just have a cute little family moment and I'm excited for her to come and see the house and to meet Jacob. Jacob gets to have a grandma. Generally, we've just been kind of still going back and forth between the old apartment and the new apartment. The old apartment seems to be cursed in the last week. Just a lot of random shit is going wrong there, uh, just as we're moving out. That's our last, like, three days of work, so, uh, or two days even. So it's the last push, and then we can really be in summer mode. Currently listening on audio to Love by Toni Morrison. It's uh, Katie James's book club pick for July, so technically on Sunday we should have a meeting about love and I'm enjoying it so much. I haven't been listening so consistently, but whenever I'm walking Jacob or like I don't have energy to take him to the dog park, I'm like, okay, if I listen to Toni Morrison, and Toni Morrison is um, narrating the audiobook, so her voice is just incredible, her storytelling, her like perfect example of incredible audio, like that it's actually an enhanced experience of reading and not the opposite. I take her with me when I need like someone or something to get me on the walk with the dog. So I've been listening to that, um, but it's absolutely beautiful. Sorry for the construction noise. I need to finish that maybe on Saturday morning. I'll just like listen for four hours or something and finish it. Um, I've also almost done with the Eve Babbitts, which I was supposed to buddy read with Pato like a while ago and they finished it obviously like normal a normal person would. Um, but I have yet to finish it, but I'm actually, I love it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, maybe it's nice I'm actually taking my time with it and I want to read more Eve Babbitts. And the book club pick for my little book club here on the internet, which everyone is welcome to read along with, um, I've failed for many months, but I'm determined that August I'm gonna do it. So it's, let me go get it. Okay, it's Rachel Cusk's um, retelling of Medea. Um, yeah, it's her new version of Medea by Euripides, um, the ancient Greek play. Great cover. Small, very slim. It's a play, so we're getting our little like drama student vibes on. Um, Renee read this and absolutely loved it. I've never read the original play, um, but through the lens of Rachel Cusk, I think it's gonna be absolutely a joy to read and really interesting and probably very thought-provoking. So this is my pick for my book club that you're all welcome to. Um, you can read it and we'll, I don't know, you can DM me about it. On my Patreon, um, I'm gonna do this month little videos. Um, throughout so kind of like each I guess maybe because it's a play 
I'll upload like a video about my thoughts on like either each scene or each act. I don't know if this is in a few acts. I actually know nothing about this play to be honest. Oh, my mom is here, apparently. So um, I'll catch up with you later, but read this with me. Hi, I've come to say that I'm on my way to my last day at work um, at my job that I've had for seven years. So that's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, surreal a little bit, um, but honestly, I'm like just so tired um, and exhausted from this work year that um, I'm happy this day has come as kind of melancholic and complicated my feelings are about it. But um, yeah, new beginnings. So here we go. I'll see you in the matrix. Hello, welcome back. It is Sunday. Um, I wanted to get this video up today, but then as I was editing, I was like, I don't feel like I have necessarily enough footage yet. So we will continue a little bit more. What is interesting enough to speak about? Uh, not much. I am going to meet my mom for dinner. I'm gonna take her to like a French bistro called Café Noir. And then they've opened a really nice new um, wine bar, I guess, like a few steps from there. So we're going to go there after. And I invited a friend of mine. Obviously, Ohada's going to come. So it'll be a cute little like wine date. Um, I'm doing a teaching job these uh, next two days. So, or sorry, the next two weeks. I'm still like half working, but it's not really full hours. Um, so it will be nice to like bring in the new summer mood with like a wine date with family and friends. That sounds like the way to go. I read the first two scenes in Medea by Euripides by Rachel Cusk. <laughs> um, or through Rachel Cusk, I guess, if, if you can put it that way. Loving it. First impressions are a play by Rachel Cusk about a woman whose marriage has fallen apart and getting all these different characters and all of their um, fucked up views on women and wives and mothers and um, the reflection on what society deems beautiful and successful and yeah, just like all of these things is just really enjoyable like with Rachel Cusk and their themes that she's always dealing with. So. It's, yeah, it's great. I, do you see that I'm like balancing my arm with my other arm? Because my <laughs> muscles are having a breakdown. Overall, like I'm only a few pages in, but I'm really enjoying it. And it makes me like want to do a play. So we're just sitting here chilling. Ohad got some more unpacking business done today while I was working. So I came home and like some suitcases were emptied. Our closet is starting to like become something real and not just like piles all over the floor. So um, it's exciting to see things coming together a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna go um, 
shower and maybe put on some nice earrings or something before dinner and that's it. The dog attack. 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 Jesus Christ. Hi. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Sunday. Just got home from teaching. And I'm going to order myself some food, I think. I really should go to the store and buy stuff and cook something. But I'm just... So exhausted. Um, I haven't had a day off since about a week and a half ago, and I won't have a day off until the end of this week. So I am gonna just order myself something. I'm still getting used to this area and like the restaurants here. I like I know some of them because it's still a small city, even though I le lived in a different area. Um, but now that I live here, I'm kind of like, what are the to like the go-to places or like where where to go to get my, you know, like quick food or quick lunch. The light is so nice coming through this window. I'm not sure how to keep, how long to keep this vlog going because I'm really not reading. Oh, maybe I'll read more Medea tonight because it's so slim and short and because it's a play, it's like, fun to just read scenes. Um, so maybe I'll read that a little bit tonight with some food. Actually, a friend of mine who I haven't seen for a while. Her name is Mai. I think that I, this, this is the cutest animal I've ever seen. My friend Mai um, has been in Italy and France and traveling for a while. She just did a residency. Um, she's a beautiful artist and uh, she might pop by tonight because now that we live in this new apartment, we're actually neighbors, so. Um, yeah, so she might come by, so maybe I should get a, like a bottle of wine or something. I finally scheduled with my hairdresser. It's like, I'm shocked that we finally figured it out. And I told her that maybe I wanna go blonde, but like a kind of ashy, Blonde, like a dirty, ashy blonde, not like a, not like a, not like a yellowish or like a, even like a platinum, like something that could look kind of summery and natural. Um, but I trust her more than I trust myself with, I don't know, what would look good or how. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for blonde. Let's see how that feels. I'm having some difficulty with this camera lately. Um, so I've been just filming on my phone because I feel like things actually look closer to real life on my iPhone. Um, but this was a really expensive camera and, um, and the quality is great. So I'm trying to figure out why like it's not, I've played with the, auto, the white balance and the ISO and, and everything and doing it manually and doing it on auto and just nothing seems to like really reflect how things actually look. I think he's getting restless. I need to play with him a little bit. So I am gonna go and do that and order myself some food. I'll see you later. I thought that I was going to end the vlog before, then last night when I was 
enjoying an evening, uh, my voice, an evening at home. I was screaming, teaching this week, and I, I think I fucked my voice up. Ended up finishing a book, which was uh, Slow Days, Fast Company, The World, The Flesh, and LA by Eve Babbitts. Introduction by Matthew Spector. This is the New York Review of Books edition. Um, yeah, I finally finished this. I took my time with it, but I enjoyed it a lot, a lot. Like, I love Eve Babbitts's, Eve Babbitts's writing style. I love her wit. I love her humor. I love her, her whole vibe. Like, I, this book is vibey and she's, I, I like her a lot. Like the ultimate Los Angeles cool girl, but that's way more than just a cool girl. Um, she writes so smartly and her observations are really astute and with all of the like f fun, <clears throat> like it's like very highbrow, but at the same time, like very fun and readable because she's talking about Hollywood and drives along like Laguna Beach and crazy parties with famous and rich people and drugs and partying at Chateau Marmont and um, yeah, like some really just like entertaining subjects. She has that kind of like some of those sentences that you're like, oh, I want to live by this sentence. But I wasn't going back out into that living room until I'd had two drinks and she simply didn't have what it took to make me pay any attention to her. I wish now I could remember her face or the sound of her voice, but the only things that I really remember are that she left her children $2,500,000 in her will. And when I tasted her lettuce, I was sure there was nothing on it. I decided to drink half a bottle of tequila and go back to the guest house and read what Virginia Woolf had to say about the narrow bridge of art in her first chapter. So like this really amazing mix of like art, the art world, writing, the art of writing, and like downing a half bottle of tequila. For me, that's like a great mix. I mean, like to read about. Yeah, she manages to tell like really tragic stories, but in a really like, entertaining way so that almost when you realize like how sad one of the stories is it's like it hits you even harder so i enjoyed a lot like i'm really curious about reading more of eve babbitt's and her novels um or short stories or whatever these are like essays um, so yeah i failed my buddy read with pato on this but I'm really happy that regardless, I finally got to it. Um, and if you like, you know, a Calif if you want a California read with all of that Hollywood, palm trees, Orange County vibes, um, highly recommend. A big window here that we love was replaced this morning with brand new windows. Not sure why. There was one that was like looking a little old, but by no means like needing replacement, but they just replaced all three. So it looks like sparkly and gorgeous. And we did some rearranging on the furniture to just check some other options. And it looks a little bit like a bookstore. So this is the setup that we kind of are trying now. It comes with a dog. Um, we needed to find a good place for this mirror. And yeah, it kind of just opens up the space a little bit more. Although I really liked what it was like before, but um, yeah, we're trying something new. And here's my bookstore setup. Anyway, I must really go walk the dog and uh, save my voice from being really gone. <clears throat> so I should stop talking now. But if you liked a specific setup of the living room, like the one before the or this one, let me know. Um, okay, thanks for watching. Big hugs, and um, catch you later. Bye.